This house was a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> I got it for $18,000 and that was every penny I had and it was in the shape of an $18,000 house. It was not great, but we made it work. Rebuilding together Pittsburgh. They were working on this neighbor's house and that neighbor's house and three other houses on the street. And they just left me a flyer on my door offering free home repairs. I did not think I would qualify, but I did. They worked on the roof. They got me new windows. They put down a new floor over top of the asbestos and got rid of all of the parts that were dangerous. They got me new appliances in the kitchen, which was just a bonus. It was life-changing for me. It gave me confidence to do so much with my house and be a homeowner. One of the things that I really love about my job at Rebuilding Together is how we are stabilizing neighborhoods for the future. We're giving hope to neighborhoods that might have been disenfranchised. A lot of what we really focus on is how we bring equity back into homes. Many homeowners have bought their homes in neighborhoods 20, 30 years ago, and the value in them today is very much what it was 20 and 30 years ago. By working exclusively in these neighborhoods and doing multiple houses, what we hope to do is increase equity for keeping neighborhoods safe and keeping investment in communities that have not experienced it previously. Over the past four years, we've invested more than $5 million in these neighborhoods. As a result of that, we've helped in excess of 150 homes. Our largest funding source has been in partnership with First Commonwealth Bank. We have an opportunity to provide a stabilized platform for homeowners who want to pass that on to their own families, thus creating wealth for future generations. What they did in this house was important to me and my daughter because we were at a fragile time. I'm so glad that she got to remember that others helped. We took it from nothing and made something. This house is just like a monument of us getting through that tough time. <laughs>